Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophie, and I post workout videos and stretching videos for figure skaters who wanna stay fit, but also for people who are inspired by figure skaters or just wanna have a good workout. So today we're gonna to be doing a deep core routine. I specifically made this for figure skaters because a lot of us do not have strong cores and it's so important to have a strong core on the ice. But if you're not a figure skater, you can totally do this workout. It's for everyone and for all levels. Just listen to your body whenever you're having a tough moment. If you need to let it go, let it go. You will get stronger after time. So we're going to get right into it, getting into our Pilates movements. So let's come onto our glutes. We're just gonna reach our arms forward, inhaling, then exhaling slowly, coming down onto our backs. We're just going to start with a nice little breath exercise, our TVA breath. And we're gonna inhale through our nose. We're going to expand those ribs, expand the diaphragm and lengthen the po pelvic floor, sorry. And on our exhale, we're going to contract everything. So tightening those ribs, contracting, shortening the pelvic floor and feeling that nice engagement in your deep TVA muscles. So let's just start, just place your hands on your diaphragm so that you can just feel the breath. And we're just going to start with a nice inhale through the nose, inhale. Everything lengthens expands and now exhale everything contracts inhale in exhale out and inhale Exhale out. Last two, inhale. Exhale out. Last one, inhale. Exhale out. Good. Let's hold this engagement. We're just gonna place our hands to the sides of our body and we're gonna start to lift up into a nice bridge and we're just gonna hold here. Keep your pelvis tucked under, so not arching in your back at any moment. Relax your shoulders. Feel the engagement in your abs here as well, not only your glutes, but keep those glutes nice and squeezed so you're engaging them as well. And just hold, concentrating on your breath here. And let's release. Now let's just start with a few ab exercises here. When we are gonna be doing them, I'm going to be doing a lot of them with my legs stretched, but you are also welcome to keep the leg bent and just tap the toes. So I'm just gonna say that now in case I forget later on. So we're going to start off on our left side. So lifting our left leg up, we're gonna place our right hand onto the knee. So opposite hand to knee. And all I want you to do is to just kind of squeeze that hand onto the knee on your exhale. So let's inhale, exhale, have that nice form in your abs. Feeling the contraction in your TVA muscles. Exhale. 
Inhaling nicely as you release. Exhale, press that hand into the knee. So really feeling that engagement in the abs. Let's do three more to make it eight. So always releasing on your inhale. And last one. Now we're going to keep this nice press on the knee and we're going to now lift the other leg into the tabletop and we're going to now stretch the leg. So again, you can always keep it bent whenever we're gonna be doing some movements. We're going to stretch the leg out and of course, if you can only stretch up to here, do that. So we're going to inhale on our stretch, exhale, press into that knee, lift the leg. Inhale, release. Exhale, press. And you're also pressing that knee into the hand, so it's not only the hand into the knee. So it might take a little coordination here, so don't worry if you don't get it right, right away. Last two. Last one. And now keep this pose. We're now going to bring our hand under our head and we're going to do a nice little upper body lift with the leg. So inhale, release, exhale as you come up. Making sure to press into that knee slightly. Four more. Two more. And last one. Now release your other hand behind your head. We're gonna re release that leg down. Come for our bicycle crunches. Inhale at center, exhale as you twist. And release it, good. Just shake out your legs a little bit here. And just release those legs for a moment. Let's take a nice little stretch, stretching our body, stretching our hands and arms above our head. And release. And we're gonna take that all on the other side. So let's get ready. Lifting that right knee, placing the left hand now on that knee. Just keeping your other arm freely on the side. And we're just gonna take some squeezes here for eight times. So inhale, squeeze your knee and your hand. And release, inhale, exhale. And three. Really trying to connect with your abs here. So take your time as you're squeezing. Two more. And release for a moment. We're now going to bring our hand behind our head, but you don't have to yet. We're still going to be doing the leg without the upper body. We're going to bring our, sorry, got a little ahead of myself. Bring your left knee into that tabletop. We're gonna stretch it out. Inhale, exhale, squeeze as you lift that leg. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. By squeeze, I mean squeezing that hand into the knee. Four. 
three more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Now hold that squeeze. We're gonna lift our upper body as we lift the leg. So get ready, inhale, exhale, squeeze and lift. Oh, you can hear that shake in my breath. And three. Inhale, then exhale. Just two more. Hold it here. Release your hand behind your head. Stretch your leg out. We're gonna inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. And switch, switch. And let it go. Good. Just shake out those knees a little bit. Releasing in your hip flexors. And we're just gonna roll ourselves up. And again, let's just stretch out our legs and just shake out those legs just to release those hip flexors a little bit because they do get a little tense throughout some of the workouts. So let's get ready. We're almost there. We're just gonna do a few things on our hands and our knees, then on our tummies, and then on our sides, and then the other side. So hands and knees on the mat. We're gonna stretch our right leg up into a nice position, keeping that hip turned in, pelvis is under, head is straight. You're gonna lift your left arm here. And first, we're just gonna hold this bird dog pose. So find your balance. You can even do this without the hand for the beginning. So just placing that hand down if this is too hard, as well as for the next exercises. Now get ready. We're gonna bring our elbow to knee. So we're gonna inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. And then stretch again. And exhale. Trying to keep that form. Now one more, and then we're gonna double time it. So now we're going to do two pulses, pulse, pulse, stretch, inhale, exhale, exhale. Last one, hold it. Release that hand, release your knee down. We're gonna keep those legs a little bit hip width apart. We're gonna do a few push-ups here. And we're just always keeping those elbows close to the body. So kind of like a chaturanga push-up. We're gonna inhale on our way down slowly. Then exhale, lift your legs and your arms up. Bring your hands back, inhale. Exhale, lift up from that push-up. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. Inhale. Exhale, lift. Keeping your pelvis under as well as when you lift your legs and your arms here. Two more. Last one, and then we're gonna hold it in this back lift. So just hold it here, keeping that pelvis tucked under to protect your lower back. And then just release. And we're just going to come onto our left side. So we're gonna place our head into our hand, and we're gonna do a few inner thigh movements because the inner thigh are very important for the pelvic floor. So we're just going to bring our right leg or the top leg in front. We're just gonna stretch our leg up and down with a nice pointed toe. We're gonna inhale, 
Exhale, lift up. Just do your best here. If it doesn't come very high, it's okay. We all have to begin somewhere. And we're doing 10 of these. So halfway there already. Inhale, exhale up. Three more. And last one. Now I want you to hold it up. We're gonna flex our foot, bend our knee back while keeping it lifted in the air, then stretch it back. So we inhale, exhale, bend. Inhale, exhale, bend. Trying to keep it as high as you can here, halfway there. Three more. Last one. Now stretch that leg and we're gonna pulse it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse and just breathing naturally. And hold it and let it go, good. We're gonna now stretch that top leg again on top. Keep your legs slightly in front so you're not in a perfect line. You're gonna bring your head or rest your head on your arm. And we're just gonna lift our top leg up and down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. Thinking about our engagement here. We're going for 10 of these, because it's not too difficult. And last one. Now we're gonna add a little bit more to this. So don't lift the leg too high. So lift it up. Then we lift the bottom leg, meet them together, and then both come down. Inhale, exhale, lift. Just eight of these. Halfway there. Inhale, exhale up. Inhale, exhale up. Two more. And down. Take a moment. We're now going to lift both of our legs and don't hesitate to help yourself with this front hand. If you need to press into the mat to get it done, do so, but try not to lift your whole body as you do it. Really try to focus on the legs and your obliques here. So let's go. We're gonna inhale, exhale, lift those legs up. And two, three. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, three more. And last two, and we are finished. Hold it and let it go. Good, just bend your knees and we're just gonna slowly come up. Let's take a quick little mermaid stretch here. Then switch it to the other side and stretch out the side that we just worked. and then just release and we're gonna take everything on the other side. So let's come on to our hands and our knees. Get ready for our bird dog pose. Once again, you can always keep that hand on the ground. So let's lift our left leg, keep that hip turned in, pelvis under, then lift your right arm and just hold here. Focusing maybe on a point to help you with your balance or a picture or something you can look at. Now we're gonna add the elbow to knee. So inhale, exhale, elbow to knee. Keeping that form, so looking straight at the end of your mat here. 
never allowing that head to dangle down between your shoulders. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Now let's double time it. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, exhale. Hold it. Now just bring your hand and your knee down and let's get ready for those push-ups and the back up. So pelvis is tucked under. Let's inhale, bringing those elbows tightly to the chest then lift your arms and legs. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And three. Four. On the fifth one, we're gonna hold in that back up. And now just hold it here. Keeping that pelvis tucked under. And release. Just come onto your side. And we're just gonna rest our head in our hand first. Left leg bends in front. So kind of like you're chilling at the beach. <laughs> And we're just going to lift our back leg or our bottom leg. We're gonna inhale, exhale up, keeping the toes pointed. And we're going for 10 of these. Really focus your attention to your inner thighs. Only four more. Two more, inhale, exhale as you lift. Now hold it up, flex your foot. We're gonna bend that knee back, keeping the leg lifted still, then stretch it. Bend and stretch, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Four more. Last two. And last one. Good, now stretch the leg, keep your foot flexed, and we're gonna pulse it up. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Hold it and let it go, great. Now stretch that top leg, release your head all the way onto your arm. We're just gonna lift the top leg first, so inhale, exhale, lift. Trying to keep your leg extended as well, so you're using your quad muscle here. Last three. And last one. Bring it down. Now make sure to not lift that top leg too high so that you can reach that bottom leg to it. So inhale, lift. Exhale, meet the other foot up and then down. Inhale, exhale, down. Three. And four, five, last three, just eight of these. And last one, inhale, exhale, down. Now lifting both of your legs, finding your obliques, finding your abs here, inhale, Exhale, lift, and two. 
three, four, just eight of these. But if you need to stop here, go for it, take a break, come back when you're ready. Last two. And last one. And let it go, good. Just shake out that leg, maybe massage it a little bit because your glutes did work here as well. Now start to come up and we're just going to bring ourselves into that mermaid pose here. Then release, switch out those legs and other side. and release here as well. So thank you all so much for joining me today. I wish you all a beautiful day ahead and I'll see you all next time. Bye.